can you evaluate the state of education in Hartford Public Schools? Uh, the state of education in Hartford Public Schools is a state of emergency. State of emergency. State of emergency. And we can we get street interviews and we're promoting our event for the screening of the hip hop project at Capitol Community College downtown Thursday, August 7th. You know, free movie and snacks. So you know you can come get some buffalo wings, some mango salsa. Alright, so we're at the two four. We're about to interview. Um, I don't know his name, but we're about to interview. So how you feel about this interview? Well, it's gonna be probably one of my big interviews because I've been practicing now. Really? Yeah. Let's see if this interview. Always this notion that there was something wrong with the kids. There's nothing in Hart Hartford's water. There's nothing wrong with our children. The problems with the district and the, and the structure and the way they went about doing things. Because the teachers actually lived in our community. Our kids can do anything. They can achieve anything. They can learn anything. And also emphasize that um, true freedom comes through educating our, our minds. No. I don't think that they're getting a good education. I don't think they got a good education. Uh, and I think the children that uh, that are dead to me today, and that's all of them, are not getting the best education that they can get. Can we evaluate the state of education in the Hartford Public School System? The state of education in North Hartford, in, in Hartford in general, is um, certainly unacceptable by my standards and I think unacceptable by anybody's standards, largely because we have an achievement gap in this state, but we, it's, and it's worst in Hartford. Hartford has consistently been at or near the bottom in terms of test scores. Um, and we are just not doing a good job in terms of making sure that our that our children can read at the level they're supposed to at certain grade levels. The teachers, that's it. Like, they don't give us, like, they're not patient with us. That's like the thing about it. Like, they try to get us through stuff and then, like, kind of rush us, but we're not really, like, getting anywhere as us students. Well, I think I probably understand most of the work but at the same time I don't think that they prepared me enough for high school. Things that I've noticed that I have not liked is that I've, I think that the Hartford schools uh, over the latter years um, has gotten uh, much more um, away from the basic mission of, of educating uh, students and getting more into having to control students in terms of uh, management versus education and as I said earlier um, I see some wonderful signs that Hartford is moving away from that and, and, and starting to really get into offering its students some uh, high quality education. I think it's a factor of the best interest of that kid you know if you have a kid that's disrupted in a classroom and you have all these other kids that's waiting to get their lesson this teacher got to call security you know it's just so much change now in a school system where they have to have cops sitting in the schools it's just you know the kids are not getting the genuine education that they should be getting there has been a more progressive uh, deterioration in the quality of education in terms of critical thinking in terms of an awareness of other cultures and ethnic groups as well as the consciousness of education as a form of empowerment. Well, I, I think that when you have a high school graduation rate um, that is at 29%, one of the lowest in the country, there's good reason for parents, families, community members to be very skeptical of any new changes coming to Hartford. This city and this district has seen a lot of changes. 
And so where the community is going to start having some faith in the leadership, the new leadership in the district and in the reform effort that's in place right now will be once we start seeing the achievement scores going up and seeing changes at the school level. Now during this year we have seen, we have seen actually the biggest bump in our achievement scores um, compared to the last seven years. So I think we have some data now that demonstrates that we're very serious about making some good and positive changes in the district. I think that there are a lot of, lot of kids and even teenagers and adults that are on the streets that had they gotten the opportunity to be in school, to be you know, properly educated, to be enhanced, to be encouraged, those kind of things, you know, it would be less people on the streets and I think that it would be more productive people in society. The school system is not producing the type of uh, individual that, uh, that has been able to go out into the community and, and to support himself and the family and therefore it has created problems. Whenever a person uh, is deprived of, of one's livelihood, then they have a tendency to look around to find out what are the, what are the other resources that they have. Do you feel that the lack of quality education is contributing to violence within the city of Hartford? Yes, I do. <laughs> I definitely think that. If, if people were, were, had more education, they wouldn't behave in the way they do sometimes. It is ignorance that leads to evil. And I say this because the more opportunity and choices a person has depends first on knowing they have the choices. Survival is a motive inherent in all living things. So what do you do then? You create choices or you choose the options available to you.